Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Tran. No parent ever wants their newborn baby in the neonatal intensive care unit, but families can rest assured when their baby is in the NICU at community, their child will be surrounded by a whole team of doctors, nurses and specialists ready to help them flourish and grow. This cry is music to Alex and Brenda Jacinto's ears. Their baby boy, Adriel, was born eight weeks early. I just started um, getting contractions. I went into preterm labor. Brenda and her husband, Alex, say it was February and Adriel wasn't supposed to arrive until April. The first thing that came to mind was fear. Um, so it was, it was a scary thing. Brenda was rushed to Clovis Community Medical Center and met her doctor. He went and said, this is, this is what's going to happen. Um, and it was great because the whole NICU, NICU team was ready. Yeah, they were ready. They were ready on yeah, standby. Awesome. You heard it right, a team, which included respiratory specialists, physical therapists, and speech pathologists were all on hand to help Adriel and his parents get through this experience together. They made you feel like like you're secure, like your baby's in good hands. The NICU provides higher acute care for babies who need continuous monitoring. <laughs> Janice Perry is the respiratory care supervisor in the NICU. She helps to ensure babies have a clear breathing airway. She shared Adriel's experience. I had some breathing difficulties, so he actually required in what we call intubation, putting a tube into his lungs and giving him surfactant. Perry says sometimes premature babies can have secretions in their lungs or airways that block their breathing. They will use suction to help clear those secretions. So then he was just having to learn how to eat, eat and stay warm and all the normal baby things. Learning how to eat can be a challenge for many babies in the NICU. Speech language pathologist Anna Atkinson explains. They have a little trouble with the suck, swallow, breathe coordination. So sometimes they suck, 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 and they forget that they have to actually swallow or breathe, and you have a lot of <laughs> little coughing and choking. And Anna says they don't just train the babies, they also help parents, particularly mothers, through the feeding process. We talk to them about stress cues, feeding readiness cues, when your baby is showing signs that they're ready to eat. It was an, a more of a, it was a, educational experience yeah. for us as well. Right. Um, everybody that came in and like um, helped our baby, um, we learned a lot from yeah. them. The Jacintos say they also learned how physical therapy plays a huge role in the development and growth of a premature baby. When the babies are born, especially our premature babies, they have very low tone, they have a decreased tolerance to handling, um, the environment is very stressful for them. Dion Casu Garcia is a neonatal physical therapist. When babies are in the NICU, she encourages parents to do skin to skin and attend to their baby's needs. So we want to support them into kind of that fetal position, teach them how to explore with their hands, to self-soothe their face. Adriel was born at four pounds, 10 ounces, and spent six weeks in the NICU. Not being able to take your baby, hold your baby at night, you know, everybody comes, has their baby, takes their baby home, and you have to say goodbye, good night to your baby at the hospital. But he finally graduated out of the NICU thanks to the whole NICU department and mom and dad couldn't be happier. It was so exciting. I just remember being happy and all those sad days that we went through. I think it just made it so much better. I don't think there's words that could explain how grateful we are. Clovis Community and Community Regional were two of the first six hospitals in California and 60 hospitals nationally to achieve the perinatal care certification.